Yo, what up, what up, good people? It's your boy DJ Sean Blue, aka Six Mail. You're listening to the Thinking Out Loud radio show with the big homie Michael Lennon. Yeah, how we do it over here. Talking out, thinking out loud, talking out loud. All that. Thinking out loud radio with my man Michael Lennon. It's your boy Sean Blue, Six Mail. All right? Hey. You're listening to the Thinking Out Loud radio show with the one and only Michael Lennon. This is Andre from SRE. I know you're enjoying my interview, the 20th anniversary of the Heavyweights Mixtape, a mixtape that uh that changed the game for Christian hip hop. The iconic legendary DJ Sean Blue is with us, and uh the promoter and marketer and manager for Damon Lamar, one of the artists on this legendary mixtape. Uh Dre, uh Andre Hampton, better known as Dre, is with us as well. And uh, we're just chopping it up, talking about uh, this this uh, this album, this mixtape that, again, I believe really was groundbreaking and changed the game for uh, Christian hip hop. And, you know, uh, you really answered the second question that I had I had for you guys, because I, I believe like you do, that not only did the mixtape um, meet your expectations, but it even exceeded those expectations because you said yourself that. Doors were opening for you guys that you ne- never thought would. Um, and 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 so that being said, I want you guys to share with me. <laughs> Man, this is how you really knew. Go ahead. Go ahead, Drake. But real quick, though. This is how yep, you yep. really knew that we was making some noise. Go ahead. This is how you knew. Because all the cats from on the secular side started coming over saying, hey, man, what y'all over here trying to do, man? Like, <laughs> y'all over here snapping, bro. Like, for real, wasn't it blue? They was like, man, y'all mm-hmm. over here doing mixtapes now? Like, hold on, wait a minute, man. Y'all snapping like that. You, hey, y'all come on. We, y'all come on, jump on this album with us. And they start pulling it. And then you start seeing everybody start going over there. And everybody start everybody start getting paid. I, I ain't saying it. it. Everybody start. They was coming to get everybody. Right. Now, right. You, 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 along with that, you, you said exceeded the expectations. Well, I mean, like I said, a lot of things happened, and Damon had a had a, a song on there. He used a uh, a Jay Z beat, the Takeover, and those who know know Kanye West is the one that produced that uh, that song. Well, for those who don't know, we're gonna let the cat out the bag that Damon Lamar and Kanye West were room, college roommates at art school, right, Dre? Yeah, they yeah, they were co- co- yeah, they went. They, they went knew to each other from high school, and then when they school. got in college, they still stayed. They still yeah, they still yeah, they they, they did the AXO team. award. They did an yeah. AXO. Right. So, um, one of the first, you know, through the excitement of when we released the mixtape, one of the first people that did listen to the mixtape was Kanye West. Um, I'm just saying that just today. Hey, that's true because we did use his beat. I mean, he didn't. He thought he he thought it was dope. I mean, we didn't was looking for no no type of cosign or nothing like that. We just thought it was dope that um, you know Damn used the Kanye joint and Kanye. You know he was he was feeling what he did to the beat, even though it was Jay Z's track. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like I said, man, it 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 when, it, he, when, it, he, when he do Jesus walks right after that or right before? Yeah, Jesus walk. I think Jesus walks came out almost a year after this that, that mixtape. Yeah. They did Jesus walk. I may hey somebody out there correct me if I'm wrong, but I think walk Jesus walk came out in 04, something like that. Um Dre, do it, Google it real quick. But another yeah. thing too that exceeded our expectation when, when we knew it exceeded our expectations is when we released the tape, and literally it was recorded on a cassette master tape. The demand for people wanting it to mass produce it. And we had to come up. We had to come up with a way. It kind of reminded me. We laugh at me and Dre laugh about this all the time. And this is gonna show. Let people know how old we are. If you remember the movie Crush Groove, mm. it was based on you know mm. the Run DMC and, and Def Jam era where they had the product, but they couldn't produce it out enough to get it to the people. And so um, you couldn't put it up it? quick enough. You couldn't put it quick enough because people was wanting that tape, man. People was. Asking for that tape, man, and uh, 
you know, we 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 found a way to 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 uh, put our money together and burn up CDs and 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 get them out there, man. So it definitely exceeded my expectation. So, yeah. And and so that being said, that 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 being said. I want you guys to share with us what what are some of your favorite songs on uh, the Heavyweights mixtape. Oh, well, Jay, you go ahead because I've been doing a lot of talking. You go ahead. What's your favorite? Man, I like man, I like the whole tape. Man, I just bumped it from beginning to end. I never, I never would skip anything or anything. Like one time, my kids used to listen to it with me, and I think I skipped. Like one time, I was just skipping around, just you know, to skip. <laughs> And they lost it, man. They were like, "Daddy, what are you doing?" Like, man, like K nine, like you skipping, you skipping Damon Lamar. I was like, hey, "Yeah, because because the way I did it, the way I did, it, I think I went K nine Damon, K nine Damon, right. Damon Damon, K nine K nine, yeah, something like, like that. The way I switch, yeah, I, I switch, I switch it up like that. I mean, I can't honestly, I can. I'm like Dre. The whole tape is is my favorite, but I would say the ones that stand out to me when I listen to it. Um, the first one, of course, the Fire Joint exclusive K9 did. Um, Damon uh, Flip Fifties beat um, in the church. Um, yeah, that's what that's actually what he called it in the church. Yeah. Um, the uh, We gonna make it joint. Um, the heavyweights. What heavyweights. Is, is, heavyweights. What's it called? Heavyweights. Heavyweights. That's yeah. what it was called. Yeah. 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 Then the joint. Um, K and I did with the uh, Biggie. The Biggie joint. Um, oh yeah. Dead wrong. The Biggie joint. Dead wrong. The dead wrong beat. The PSA joint. K and I did. Um, and then K and I did a joint. You, you, sample. Can't, you can't skip. Yes, yeah, I'm basically, I'm basically, I'm basically going through the whole album. But he I'm sampled you, Archie Bunker. Used to go ballistic on me, like, dude, what is you doing? Let that ride. Let it breathe. Let it, let it, let it yeah. breathe, Daddy. Yeah. Let it breathe. <laughs> Woo! I want to welcome y'all to the K9 coming out party, dog. Let's go. It's K9, it's gone. Far from a rap buffoon. I'm the creature from the black lagoon that comes out when it's half a moon.